Well, I was, you know, throughout my hockey career, I was, I think, captain on every team I played for, and, and uh, but that was my father, um, you know, was quite instrumental in minor hockey in, in my hometown of Lachute, and uh, he, he was a, a leader in, in most regards, uh, you know, big, his family were, did a lot for community sport, baseball and hockey. And uh, yeah, we had, I had great mentorship, great leadership, great role models within my family. And then when I went to Quebec City, uh, my first captain was Mario Marois, my defense partner. We sat beside each other in the dressing room and, you know, observed him. Uh, he went on to have a you know, very good NHL career. And then coming here, uh, certainly not taking any leadership roles initially because, um, you know, you're always best served to sit back and observe and, and uh, learn from the veterans. And we had great veterans. Uh, Lee Foglin, uh, uh, Al Hamilton was here, although he was, you know, injured a little bit. Uh, Colin Campbell was here, Ron Chipperfield, Blair McDonald, Brett Callaghan. I mean, the list goes on and on. Those are all class guys. And, um, and then also just, you know, in that first year, you know, uh, knowing more about the city, we hung around the, the Eskimos a little bit, you know, uh, um, uh, Dave Cutler and Tom Wilkinson and Warren Moon and, uh, and Kepley and uh, Neil Lumsden. And they, they, those guys were winners. They were champions, you know. And we, we, you know, it's not like we hung around lots, but we had time to be around them and saw how winners conduct themselves. And, and then as the older guys started to leave the team and, and, you know, the younger guys had to step up and take the leadership role, we were, you know, well ready to, to take that responsibility.